Signs and Symptoms of Chronic Loneliness Disclaimer Hi there all you gorgeous guys and lovely lasses. It's me Shoni, I hope you are all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, a special shout out to you for clicking on this video. Before I start I would just like to add a point to the disclaimer or else, YouTube will be all over me like hot cake. I will be referring to suicide before I start. If you are lonely, distressed or having suicidal thoughts please, contact your nearest suicide hotline or emergency contact and speak to a professional counselor or therapist who will be able to assist you immediately. Please remember to like, subscribe, click the bell to get notified when I upload new content and to share this video. Your support is so greatly appreciated because I love connecting with you guys and covering a wide variety of topics that one would normally sit down and chat to another over a jazzy cup of coffee. Right, let's jump right on into today's session. Today I will be talking about chronic loneliness. Short-term bouts of loneliness can occur to many people at some point in their lives. These types of feelings are typically brief and not considered chronic. However, when feelings of loneliness and isolation worsen and continue long-term, there may be more serious signs and symptoms to be aware of and steps you can take to help deal with chronic loneliness. Point number one. What is chronic loneliness? Chronic loneliness occurs when feelings of loneliness and uncomfortable social isolation go on for a long period of time. It's characterized by constant and unrelenting feelings of being alone, separated or divided from others, and an inability to connect on a deeper level. It can also be accompanied by deeply rooted feelings of inadequacy, poor self-esteem, and self-loathing. Ongoing loneliness can afflict even the most seemingly outgoing person. Being the life of the party doesn't necessarily exclude someone from being chronically lonely. This type of chronic or long-term loneliness can eventually impact all areas of your life. Point number two. What are the main signs and symptoms of chronic loneliness? Chronic loneliness symptoms and signs can differ depending on who you are and your situation. If you consistently feel some or all of the following signs, then you may be dealing with chronic loneliness. Red flag one. Inability to connect with others on a deeper, more intimate level. Maybe you have friends and family in your life, but engagement with them is at a very surface level. Your interaction doesn't feel connected in a way that is fulfilling and this disconnection seems never-ending. Red flag 2. No close or best friends. You have friends, but they are casual friends or acquaintances and you feel you can find no one who truly gets you. Red flag 3. Overwhelming feeling of isolation regardless of where you are and who's around. You can be at a party surrounded by dozens of people and, yet, you feel isolated, separate, and disengaged. At work, you may feel alienated and alone. Same on a bus, train, or walking down a busy street. It's as if you're in your own unbreakable bubble. Red flag 4. Negative feelings of self-doubt and self-worth. Does it feel like you are always less than enough? These feelings long-term are another possible symptom of chronic loneliness. Red flag 5. When you try to connect or reach out, it's not reciprocated, and you're not seen or heard. Red flag 6. Exhaustion and burnout when trying to engage socially. If you're dealing with chronic loneliness, trying to engage and be social with others can leave you feeling exhausted. Continued feelings of being drained can lead to other issues, like sleep problems, a weakened immune system, poor diet, and more. Point number 3. Can chronic loneliness lead to health problems? Long-term feelings of loneliness can affect your health in many ways. For example, chronic loneliness can drive up cortisol levels in the body. Cortisol is a hormone that your body creates when under stress. Over time, higher cortisol levels can lead to inflammation, excess weight gain, insulin resistance, problems concentrating, and more. If left unchecked, these chronic loneliness symptoms can put you at greater risk for more serious medical and emotional problems, including depression, sleep disorders, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, mental health and emotional problems, substance use. There is even the possibility that chronic loneliness and the health risks that come with it could shorten one's lifespan. 
If you think you are suffering with long-term feelings of loneliness, talk to your doctor or a therapist. Point number four. What does chronic loneliness do to your brain? Research shows that chronic loneliness can have a significant impact on your overall health, including your brain health. Some studies even suggest that there may be a link between loneliness and an increased risk for developing dementia and Alzheimer's. Long-term feelings of loneliness and social isolation can also reduce cognitive skills, such as the ability to concentrate, make decisions, problem-solve, and even change negative self-beliefs. And it can ultimately lead to depression. Point number five, who's most at risk for chronic loneliness? Chronic or long-term loneliness can afflict all types of people. It's easy to assume that someone who's naturally shy and introverted might be most at risk, but outgoing, type A, personalities can also suffer from chronic loneliness, even though they may appear to be the life of the party. This type of loneliness is not exclusive to any one personality type. For some people chronic loneliness may become a side effect of a medical or emotional problem, including those dealing with the following issues. Substance use. Depression and bipolar disorder. Serious illness or disease. Some mild forms of autism, such as Asperger's syndrome. Dementia and Alzheimer's. Intimacy orientation issues. All of these issues could also lead to long-term feelings of loneliness and isolation. Make sure your doctor, therapist, or other medical provider knows how you're feeling emotionally. Point number six. What are some tips for dealing with chronic loneliness? If you are dealing with feelings of loneliness that just don't go away, consider these tips. Talk to your doctor, a therapist, or another healthcare professional. Chronic loneliness isn't limited to feelings of social isolation and alienation from others. It is often tied to ongoing and deeply rooted negative beliefs about yourself that can eventually lead to other medical and emotional problems. Let someone know what's going on. Engage with other people in a positive, healthy way. Even though it may be difficult, try making the effort to connect with others. Volunteering, hobby clubs, workout groups, and other opportunities can help boost self-esteem and provide a safe and satisfying way to connect with others. Get some exercise and sunlight. Getting active and out in the sunshine can help elevate endorphins and serotonin. These brain hormones can boost mood, help improve sleep, and make people feel happier. Find a support group, especially if chronic loneliness is a side effect of some other issue you might be dealing with, such as substance use, loss of a loved one, loneliness from a divorce or breakup, a chronic and isolating illness or several of the other reasons that can cause loneliness. Receiving support and encouragement from others who may share similar feelings could help ease symptoms of chronic loneliness. I hope you have found this information informative, and if you are dealing with long-term loneliness, the kind that doesn't go away, talk to your doctor or another healthcare provider so that they can help. Chronic loneliness is not just about feeling alone, if left unchecked it can put you at risk for serious, physical and emotional issues. So before I go, please leave me a comment below and tell me if you are someone or know of someone who is suffering from chronic loneliness, so much so that you are actually concerned for your well-being or someone else's and I will address your anxieties. I love reading everyone's comments, as it connects me to you guys and gives me insight to what you are about and what you would like to hear on this channel. And with that said, I'll be signing off for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end and if you subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate you and it gives me the opportunity to continue creating new content and engaging with lovely people from all over the world. Sending you all much positive vibes.